Dear students, welcome to the video parametric differentiation. Sometimes the variables x and y are defined in terms of a third variable um, like t. Look at these examples. x is equal to, for example, t plus t squared and y is equal to sine of t plus 2t squared. t um, is called the parameter of the equation and x and y as you see are both defined in terms of t in order to uh, use i mean in order to differentiate uh, such uh, parametric differentiation of expressions uh, you need to use chain rule we know that dy dx because y is not in defined uh, this uh, equation y is not directly defined in terms of x so we can use chain rule dy we we'll differentiate with respect to t then times dt dx as if you know in order to uh, make it easier to memorize as if dt dt cancel out each other then dy dx will remain or you can say dy dx is equal to because y is expressed in terms of t so we differentiate with respect to t and over dx dt again dt and dt as if they cancel out each other what is left is it's dy dx that what uh, that is exactly what we need now uh, let's uh, look at some example example one the parametric equations of a curve are x is equal to t squared and y is equal to 5 minus 2t part a find dy dx in terms of the uh, parameter t now so dy dx as we do not have directly y in terms of x so i differentiate y, y with respect to t as well as x uh, with respect to t now differentiation of y it will be differentiation of 5 is 0 so it will be negative 2 over differentiation of x with respect to t is 2t if simplify it will be negative 1 uh, over t for part b uh, it says find the equation of the tangent to the curve uh, to the curve at the point where t is 2 so first we need to find m and um, so we re replace uh, 2 here it will be negative 1 over 2 it is gradient and uh, t is 2 so t is 2 we need to find x coordinate and y coordinate as well so x will be 2 squared which is 4 y is 5 minus 2 times uh, t which is 2 which is 1 so the equation is y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1 where y1 and x1 are x coordinates and y coordinates of the point on the curve so it will, be y, it will be y minus 1 is equal to m which is negative half then x minus 4 it is equation of the tangent example 2 the uh, Parametric equations of a curve are x is equal to 1 plus 2 sine squared of theta plus y is equal to 4 tan of theta. And theta is between pi over 2 and uh, 3 pi over 2. Part A, find dy dx in, in terms of the uh, parameter uh, theta. Now for dy dx, as you see, y and x are both defined in terms of theta. So we differentiate y with respect to theta dx with respect to theta now and um, uh, dy with respect to theta differentiation of tan is secant squared so it will be 4 uh, secant squared of theta over now differentiation of x differentiation of 1 is 0 differentiation of um, 2 sine squared so chain rule must be used power comes so it will be 4 differentiation of sine is cosine of theta and uh, sine to the power of 1 less then it will be equal to now we can simplify secant is 1 over cosine squared 
um, so four and four cancel out each other so you have um, one one over cosine squared of theta over cosine of theta sine of theta if you do far far near near it will be giving you an answer of one over sine of theta cosine cubed of theta uh, which is dy dx now part b find the coordinates of the point on the curve where tangent is parallel to y-axis so tangent uh, uh, we already found the gradient of the tangent uh, dy dx is 1 over sine of theta cosine cube of theta it says parallel to y-axis it means that it is vertical vertical means the gradient tend to infinity or uh, you can say the denominator must be uh, zero so sine of theta cosine cube of theta must be zero so once sine of theta must be zero then uh, giving you uh, an answer of pi because uh, theta should lie in this interval um, and for the second one cosine cube of theta is equal to zero then you take the third root then cosine will be zero then um, it will give you um, in this interval pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2 it doesn't have any root it, there is no root so pi is the only solution for theta uh, now we have theta replaced to find x and y so x will be 1 plus 2 sine squared of pi sine squared sine is uh, 0 then so it will be 1 and for y coordinate it will be 4 tan of pi which is 0 so the point will be of coordinates 1 and 0 and thanks for watching this Thank you.